as you can see there on the chart, the gap between U.S. federal government spending and the amount of annual tax revenues is absolutely enormous. So in my opinion, stagflate tax law, a combination of currency devaluation, increasing taxes across the board, either layering on new taxes or increasing existing ones, a combination of these things is historically how governments have dealt with this. And the Biden administration has hardly been in office here in DC for 24 hours. And on Thursday, Janet Yellen, going back on a Biden campaign promise about not raising taxes, was already talking about raising taxes on unrealized capital gains and forcing people to mark to market every single year, potentially, unrealized capital gains and being taxed on that. So your stocks, your bonds, your real estate, maybe even your cryptocurrency, your Bitcoin, maybe your bullion, who knows? But this is something that is at least being discussed. This is insane. The Fed's official balance sheet in a single week is already up $81 billion recently. It's already over $7.4 trillion. And the Biden administration hasn't even started spending with all of its crazy spending projects, including Green New Deal, forgiving student loan debt, potentially what they're going to do with Obamacare, Biden Care. Um, including more people with healthcare, you know, all the different lists of spending projects. And, you know, when you look at the ridiculousness, how bad the U.S. federal government's finances are, the only way that they can pay for this is with currency devaluation and taxes. So more lies from politicians and bureaucrats. It was obvious with just basic math that stagflate tax lie was going to have to happen. And that was the best case scenario, given the precarious nature of the budget deficits being run. And God forbid, if the budget deficits keep increasing, that historically, whether uh, all governments all over the world, historically, financial history, have always seen as a solution, and I'm using air quotes, whenever there's a problem with government finances, whether it's a war or a famine or other financial problems that the government, whether it's a drunk king spending lavishly in French palaces or other ridiculous projects, normally they go after people, the average person on Main Street, with taxes. So unfortunately, I see a lot more of this coming and they're just going to blame capitalism, unfortunately. While the real economy is doing bad, the asset prices are still soaring. We're seeing just more and more ridiculous examples of this asset bubble with a lot of these technology stocks that have no hope of ever being a profit. There's so many unicorns now, you can't even call them unicorns anymore. I think it, you used to be able to call a unicorn an unprofitable company with a billion dollar valuation, but there's so many unprofitable companies, technology companies like Peloton and Uber and Lyft and WeWork, which never went public, and so many others, all the SPACs that have no hope of ever being profitable with many billion dollar valuations that is just getting into the twilight zone and the theater of the absurd. And this is all the Kentalon effect. This is a great example, the chart you can see on your screen of stagflate tax lie. 